You can't join the army. You're a girl. That's what my school career advisor told me. I remember I was aged 14 and I sat on this really uncomfortable chair in a tiny office that just reminded me of a doctor's waiting room. You can't join the army. You're a girl. Well, spoiler alert, I did join the army. Despite what I was told as a teenager, or maybe in spite of it, I'm still not quite sure. But here I am. I've been serving in the British Army for nine years now, and I am sure that it was a great career choice for me. I really don't want to dwell too much on that story from school because, let's face it, we are all sick to death of being told, you can't do this and you can't do that. Instead, I want to talk about what I can do, and what you can do too, if that's what you want. I found my place in the Army as an Intelligence Corps analyst. The Intelligence Corps is a really small part of the Army, and not many people have heard about us but what we lack in size, we certainly make up for an impact. So what does the Intelligence Corps actually do? What do I actually do? Big question, but I'll try and sum it up. My job as an Intelligence Corps analyst is to collect information, analyse it, and then turn it into understanding so that military commanders can make informed decisions. I'll break that down a bit. Let's start with understanding. In everyday life, we need to know things. Remember back before coronavirus when we all used to have social lives? Well, when you're invited to a party, for example, we want to know, when is it? Where is it being held? Who else is going? What should I wear? Do I need to bring a gift? Now, obviously, I'm being a bit facetious here, but you can actually draw comparisons with a military operation. Everyone involved, from an infantry soldier to a major general to the MPs back in Parliament, need to have an understanding of the situation so that they can make the right decisions at the right time to conduct a successful operation. And the Intelligence Corps is responsible for providing that. So that takes us back to collecting information. There are so many sources of information that we can go to, some more obvious and others we have to be a bit sensitive about. Intelligence Corps soldiers are trained to use state-of-the-art specialist equipment to collect information and data from a vast variety of sources. The internet is always a great place to start, but also just talking to people, looking at imagery taken from aircraft and satellites, forensic evidence that we've captured, and my personal favourite, intercepting enemy communications. In the last few decades, we've seen a monumental shift in the way that humans communicate with each other, from using radios and basic mobile phones, to almost all communications being conducted over the internet, Think about it. Email, smartphones, social media, online gaming, the list goes on. Our adversaries are no different. And with each new app that comes online, the information we collect is increasingly coming from cyberspace. That takes us on to the good bit, the analysis. Hey, I hold my hands up here. I was always a bit of a geek at school, so it's no surprise that this is my favourite part. This is where Intelligence Corps soldiers, even those just starting out at the very beginning of their career, do absolutely phenomenal work to sort through the masses of information and decide what is important and what isn't, looking for patterns and trying to decipher what the enemy will do next and why, essentially turning that information into useful, useful intelligence. During training, I was taught all sorts of techniques for conducting this analysis. I didn't join the army as a perfect intelligencer. I was taught, and I'm still learning now. I use these skills every day, I've used my brain every day of my career to produce intelligence. And then, military commanders make decisions based on what I have to say and what I think. And the best bit is, they don't care that I'm a girl. They don't care what is between my legs, or the colour of my skin, or who I may or may not fancy. As an intelligence corps analyst, I am valued for my thinking, for answering questions and even asking questions. Seeing my daily work have an impact on military operations and national security. It's rewarding in a way that I just can't compare to anything else. With my job comes responsibility too, to handle sensitive information appropriately and discreetly and to deliver the intelligence professionally and accurately. Since joining the army I've also promoted several times and now as a sergeant I'm also a leader responsible for managing and mentoring others. I didn't join the army as a leader though. 
I didn't start my career as an intelligencer or a cyber analyst or even a soldier. I was just a girl. With some good GCSEs and a couple of A-levels, but I was just a girl looking for a job. The army has given me the training I needed to become a soldier, the skills to become an analyst, the opportunity to prove myself and the confidence to push myself even further. When I told my school careers advisor that I wanted to join the army, I had no idea where that would actually take me. And I certainly didn't imagine myself leading a team of cyber analysts out of a compound in Afghanistan and then briefing the team's work to a special forces officer before they went off to conduct an operation. But that's where I found myself. I'm still the same girl who likes Disney and glitter, but thanks to the Army and the Intelligence Corps, I'm a lot of other things now too. If you're looking to challenge yourself in ways you never even thought possible, both physically and intellectually, if you want to make a difference, if you want a job where you are valued for your intelligence, if you want a career that comes with responsibility and opportunity, I would really recommend the Intelligence Corps. No two careers are the same, and that variety is just another thing I love about my job. So if anything I've said today has interested you or resonated with you, please do go and have a look at our website and our social media channels. You can discover stories from other analysts and find out if a career in the Intelligence Corps could be for you. Because you can join the army.